From the offices of MrTopStep.com, this is Danny Riley with today's Final 45, or Final 10, Final 5, I don't know what it is. But anyways, the name of today's video is going to be the S&P 500 Futures the tr t president and the Presidential Debate Decline, because that's what I think happened here. The high of the day in the S&P came, came in on the open at 21.49 half. The low came in at 21 37 75 around 12.30 Central Time. And last, we're 21 38 75 We're down 19.75 19 handles. Total volume, 1.3 million minis trade. 200,000 came from Globex. In fact, we're 1.4 million right now. And 850, uh, 850 big S&Ps traded in the pit. Excuse me. That's what they say. Um, the MIM started showing like 480 million to sell, and the actual MOC came out sell 580 million. Now, tomorrow this week, I think I, I I'm sorry I didn't come back. I told you guys I was going to be doing more videos, but we had the boot camp, and I'm going to tell you what. I mean, I, I, maybe I'm getting old, but the thing is, I'm having hard time going from one thing to the next, and the next, and the next, and the next, and at some point, at some point, I just got to like go. I just have to. I mean, I, I get on trader overload. But it, this week is really, really going to be a big week. We've got a very, very high level of economic reports, 23 in all. And we've got a total of 10 Fed, Federal Reserve Bank presidents speaking. And we have Janet Yellen speaking in front of Congress on Thursday. Now, we've got the end of the quarter coming. And we've, the S&P was down today. And actually went back down, made a new low at 20, 21, 36.75. And is back up trading 40 even right now as, we, as we're talking. We're right on the futures close. And what it is, is I think that the markets are going to be jittery this week. And let me explain why. The S&P went into the September quad witch. And then we went into the week where last week, Excuse me, where we had all the Fed, the Fed meeting and all that. That kind of delayed some of these negative stats because the, the futures market had already sold off before the Fed had spo spoken. It started to firm up the Friday, Thursday or Friday before, right after the, the quad witch. And what I, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to get is I think that some of this has delayed the effects of the seasonalities, the negative seasonalities. So we're starting out week today. Deutsche Bank in play. Um, but the big thing, I think, is what the pit bulls said. He thinks the markets are spooked because of this presidential debate tonight. And I kind of agree. I think they are. But the other part about this is we're going into the final five days. Tomorrow will be the final four days of the year, or the quarter, this is the third quarter. Excuse me. And what I kind of think is we could get some early weakness early in the week, today, tomorrow, possibly part of Wednesday. But then when we go into the final three days of the month, I think that we're going to get some two-way flow. You know, they see T plus three and that they, there's no T plus three. But I think the, the big institutions will mark up and mark down stocks going into the end of the quarter. And then you'll be thinking about Friday, which, which will probably be more up going Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday. And then possibly some kind of walkaway trade on Friday as we go into the end of the quarter and the quarterly rebalance. But I got to be, got to be honest. I'm not quite sure that the, the markets are going to be all that weak. So... Then you go into the new quarter, and the first three or four days of the new quarter are pretty strong. So let the S&P fall now, and then look to try to start to long it again going into the middle or latter part of the week. Um, like I said, Deutsche Bank in play, but you know one of the things I've learned about with the S&P, and I know there's big numbers being thrown around, is that it will take the bad news and go with it initially, but eventually the S&P will just go the other way. And I imagine like all these sell-offs and rallies that we're seeing, I don't think that much has changed. Now, October, that, that could be a different story because the closer you get to the election and the end, closer you get to the end of, November, end of October, I think things could start to really, really heat up a little bit. But I just want to play it by ear right now. I'm not over-expecting or under-expecting. I'm just thinking that right now the S&P is under a little selling pressure and that it may take a couple days to wear off. That's it. We'll leave it like that, you guys. And I will. You know what? 
I think it's easier that I do videos like this because it's less of a production and I can probably do them more often. But that said, I told you guys I'd be back and I will be back and I'm sorry I haven't been back on. So my apologies to you. Thank you.